20 stories down into that mill. Look at this uncle who's a NASA engineer comes into and has 20 stories down into that mill. As you move over that lift, arguably the single most dramatic sight of all, what can you see? Oh my gosh, it's an unbelievable view. You know, I am, I am so blessed to be in the position I am, to be the first person in the world to be right here, and the only person in the world that will ever be right here. This is truly breathtaking. It's astounding that you seem to actually be enjoying this experience, Nick. You know what? I am. Uh, ah, a long time in the making. This is, this is what dreams are made of, people. Pursue your dreams. Never give up. Mine might seem strange, but anybody that's dealing with any battle, focus on that other side. You'll achieve your goal, achieve your dream, and beat any battle with anything. Shot high above Niagara Falls. Too incredible to believe. Nick, very quickly, as you enter the wet zone, family so important to you, so much a part of this night, and I know that you have something of your mother's, your homemade shoes that actually are going to help you maybe grip that wire a little tighter with that homemade elk skin on the bottom of those moccasins. That's correct. These shoes are made by my mother, and it means so much to me to have a piece of, of, of my family alongside with me. I naturally call. And yet, trouble looms as he arrives to the wet zone. And this was where that microclimate of Niagara can wreak such potential havoc on this walk. You can see the blinding mist kicked up from that water. the speed of the gust because if you're looking at it you can see that mist is driving it and hits him constantly on the left side of his body that would be fine he could get used to that but it's swirling uh, it goes from southeast to south to southwest and then it kind of goes around even over his head so it's not only going in the compass direction but it's kind of wrapping around it uh, all the way over and under him as well, and, and that's the concern. That's what he was talking about, picking up a little bit of gust there. Also, it is just so wet. Josh, we've been looking at this now for, for two days. Have you ever seen it this wet? Sam, I have not, and you're right. We've been locked onto this for two days. About 13 minutes now into his walk. As we take a look at just how far he's gone, and yet how far he's still that madness twice as long as this almost 3,000 feet in length to make sure he'd have the endurance to do this and as we showed you before he did it with that fire hose pounding away at him and a wind machine blowing 55 mile an hour gusts but there's no way mental fortitude boy is he ever you've got a sense of that talking to him right you know he reaches the bottom of the valley now he's going to start the, the arduous climb up uh, something to watch for it is walenda tradition for him to stop in the middle pull out his cell phone and call his wife at indira who is now on the canadian side with their kids waiting hopefully for his arrival but his kid said you know what daddy you don't have to call this time <laughs> why don't you just get over and you can understand their concern when you see what looks like uh, tropical storm conditions. His daughter also wanted him to wear her Hello Kitty sunglasses <laughs> as a good luck charm. He said, sweetie, it's at night, I don't need them. But, wow. Uh, Test of a true friend, Chris hates heights. He hates looking at this, yet he's doing this for Nick. Jesus, Good. Look at you. Oh Lord, you're my savior, you're my king, you're my Jesus, you're my how's the uh, my wisdom. How's the water on your feet, Nick? Crazy Jesus, it's good. All right. Really, really wet. Yeah, force it is. Force it in a uh, rainstorm. Most water is wet. <laughs> 
you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. How are you all feeling? Feeling good. Okay. Praise you, my Father. How's that morning? Not cutting off any circulation, is it? No. All right, great. This feel like a jack a jackass wearing it. No. No, it still looks off. Reserves that he has built again over years of training for this. And I do want to set the scene just here on the Canadian side. We heard the whoops and the hollers of tens and tens of thousands of people waiting for him to finish the walk, and it has gone absolutely wondering, especially on social media, Twitter, and Facebook. Yes, Nick Walenda, in addition to that 40-pound balancing pole, is also traveling with his passport. As we want to check in with his father now, Terry. Uh, Terry, it's Hannah and Josh. It would now be a good time to check in with Nick? You know, I think uh, Nick's ready to answer a couple more questions. Okay. Nick, tell us what has been most challenging for you thus far. You know, that mist was thick, and it was hard to see at times. Uh, it's, it's been a challenge, and it's all been visual more than anything. You know, it's so important, as in the earlier piece, that my vision, that I'm able to see and able to focus. Postulating all theory, but that you did enjoy walking uphill as opposed to other parts of this walk. How is it as you make your way up to terra firma? You know, I'm, I'm strained. I'm uh, drained. Uh, you know, this is so physical. Uh, not only mental, but physical. And uh, fighting that wind isn't easy. And my hands, actually at this point, feel like they're going numb. Uh, I feel like I'm getting weak. And, uh, you know, I'm just looking at that prize on the other side. And, you know, that anticipation is building. And I just want to... I'll tell you, we're standing here on the platform, Hannah, uh, as he is just making his final way, inching over. I'm here with his beautiful family. His uncle Mike is holding the guide wire as he approaches the scissor lift. This is apparently a tradition, and you can see he's getting this smile on his face as he gets closer. That seeing Uncle Mike holding the tension on that wire lets him know that he's home. He's almost home. We have officials from Canada on the platform here who will be here to greet him. He will make his first connection with them as is long.